Hey everyone, new here, welcome back to New Grimoire. So, on today's episode, we're going to continue what we were doing on the last one. Um, looking at Old Town, I was not entirely happy how uh, bus stops and tram stops are working. So, they're kind of like very close to each other. So, we're going to look into it in a bit. Um, we're also going to look into one problem that I think we have, which is, and looking here into the graphic, we have a lot of unemployment, so we need to get more jobs into our um, into our city. And also, we probably need more housing. I think we need, we definitely need more housing, you know, we definitely need one more. Um, I'm not entirely sure what type of housing we want to build in. I was thinking about expanding in one way, Maybe uh, around here, we, pro we probably need more low density housing. We don't have that many. Um, and, and I think this kind of um, housing, you know, uh, one household houses, uh, they, they definitely can, um, you know, help a little bit, mostly for the richer people. They, they want to be living in these kind of houses. Uh, and, and that's kind of my opinion, instead of being living in these apartments and all of that. But Old Town cannot have that, right? Old Town is... Uh, in fact, we also have to continue to upgrade Old Town and to have like these kind of mixed buildings. Um, at least on the uh, streets where we do have uh, these kind of... Uh, where we have the tram stops. Um, I think those are the ones that make more sense. And we definitely need to bring in more jobs. And I'm thinking again to Sunshine Crossing. We do have empty spots in here where we can place more uh, offices, for instance, where we have here offices that can give us uh, a couple more jobs, but also commercial buildings because um, I think, yeah, it, it's, it's also important to have those kind of commercial buildings around here. Um, looking into farms, um, off camera by the way, I just uh, cleared this up a little bit, and these in here I've placed a retaining wall um, mostly because this was not looking very good. I kind of soft the land slightly in here, so it would kind of seem slightly more natural, something that would happen. Um, although, let's be honest, um, I'm not even sure if this is as that natural. Uh, Alright, so let's start today's episode by, first of all, looking into the uh, bus stops and tram stops. So. Let's look into the transportation map. Uh, I kind of wish I could see it without having to, uh, you know, placing a lot of things. Um, I guess we could go like this and go to the tram stop and look into the stops like that. And I know that we have in here bus stop. So we have a bus stop in here. It, it does have quite a few people in one direction and a few in the other direction. That doesn't seem too bad. We have this tram stop where a tram is right now stopped. Uh, I don't know if you have enough people over there in that stop to, you know, make make a difference, to be honest. Um, we do have another tram stop here and a bus stop. There's people in the bus stop, no, no one in the tram. Um, and then when we come back, we have uh, a tram stop that stops right next to the school, to this elementary school. And we know that the elementary school also has a bus stop that stops in the school itself and here outside of the school. Uh, I think we do have one, right? We, d we should have one. Yeah, we have a bus stop here and another one outside. So my main question is, should we keep the uh, bus stops that we have in here? So this is for the purple line. I mean, they do have people, you know, they have people coming in. Uh, there's there's a symbol of a bus, no, not enough vehicles. Is the bus full? No, it's not. No, it is not. Uh, there's a lot of people in here. You know, I, I, I'm i thinking about replacing the bus stops. Um, do we have... Let me see. Do we have bus stops around here? Could we, instead of having the bus stop around here, could we be placing the bus stop around here instead? We do have a bus stop over there in, this, in the graveyard or cemetery. That is fine. The purple line could go through here instead of coming through here, you know? And that would not be a problem. Because it goes around this way. Um, we do also have these other bus stops. This is for the orange line. I oh, don't know, this is 
this is the tram sorry this is the tram stop here is the bus stop um i think it, it does make sense to have a bus stop around here for these buildings let me look into the graphics let me look at transportation overview let's look at the bus stops or the bus lines we do have the purple line that has 449 passengers now this one is 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 a big bus line yeah it's a big one it it, it doesn't it doesn't matter much um why am i am i not seeing the buses maybe i have to go like that yeah maybe i have to go like that okay let's go like this so the yellow bus line and this is an important one okay let's just go with the yellow one the yellow stops here stops there okay so we have the yellow that stops there the orange also stops yeah orange line also stops there blue line does nothing over there this green one is not even being used here the purple one stops and turns around just in here okay and then we have these are like um outside connections so this stop around here this seems like a, an important stop in here seems like an important stop honestly this one seems like an important stop and i it, it says we don't have enough buses uh probably need to check out all the bus uh how how everything is working with the bus lines but I'm 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 thinking it, it. You see, the purple bus brings people because it's a very long line. It brings people from very different locations of the city. I don't know. I just feel. I just feel that this stop is not. Shouldn't be relevant to the purple line. Let me look at the purple line again. Sorry for that, by the way. The, does the purple line stops here? It does. It does stop here. So, why? Why do we have... Because the purple line also stops here. Okay. That's also probably why it's the most used line that we have. You know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it the way it is. I'm I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Um, Orange line is not working very well, right? This is the downtown line, and it doesn't have many people. One passenger. How many we have? Zero on this tram. Five. Ticket price eight bucks. Um, yeah, I think the tram line is not. I think maybe it was a mistake having the tram line. I'm gonna let it run for a while. But, <laughs> but I think that the tram line is not a success as I thought it would be. People in here, they still prefer to use buses. That's probably a good good um, point of view of what, what is happening. We may do something else is that uh, as as we grow up uh, this area, how, as, as we grow up Old Town, um, I believe that maybe, maybe we will see more people using it. Uh, maybe, maybe. Either way, I think what we need is more jobs, so let's move into that. Now, that, that, that's what happened. I th pretty much nine minutes just doing nothing. Just looking and trying to understand what is happening and... Uh, uh, how could I improve it uh, in any ways possible? Uh, okay, uh, this in here we have upgrades that we could go uh, Texas stop extra platforms. We could be building extra platforms in here. We don't want those. What is this? This is a commercial building. Okay, um, we are going to build in this area, uh, first of all. And I'm thinking what we want to build. We want to build offices, of course. Um, we're gonna use the marquee tool. I'm thinking we could build. I don't want it to be too big around here. 
are too big around here. I'm just trying to figure out what it would be the best approach. I think the first one is, first of all, we need to just build something like this, I would say, so that now we know where everything is kind of faced. Um, and we can build the, 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 the businesses that are required. I don't know if this is too big for office. It doesn't seem so, so that's cool. Uh, I'm going to do in here another thing and I'm gonna go with another commercial building because there's a, like a lot, a lot of people coming in through here and I don't know will this be too big it's gonna build it's gonna build only one right only one building okay that's fine I don't mind I don't mind that let me just turn off and erase this uh, walking paths around here uh, no you know what we don't need to, to erase them. We don't need to erase them. Uh, we are going to build them like that. I don't mind having a crossing around here. It's not too bad also. And we can have another walking path that goes around that. I like it. We could even go around here you know what I don't care if there's a, a walking path through here I'm fine with that there you go we connect these areas um, sorry for that sorry for that we also gonna go and this is my opinion can we go and build some kind of I kind of wanted to connect it through here. Something like that. That's that's interesting. And we can have... We're not going to build anything in here. Anything like big or, or um, massive, in my opinion. But I guess we can build, uh, you know, um, landscaping stuff around here. Um, and through here, honestly speaking... Um, I'm not sure what we're going to build through here. Uh, I kind of wanted to build a key <laughs> on this side. But I'm not sure. I mean, we can have some kind of businesses going through here. And at the same time, we could connect it to here. By the way, so that whoever is walking around can have access to here. And we can bring in more businesses. And I kind of like that. Um, and I like it that we can build something more around here instead. Um, commercial buildings for sure we're gonna go this is gonna be a massive commercial build building no it's not it's gonna be two commercial buildings around here uh, that is fine and we can also have uh, offices I think we can have like a massive office building around here and that's fine we're gonna go and do a walking path through here I'm kind of afraid that it might I mean, we could, yeah, we could just do that and that, and then just landscaping over there. Uh, we could do the same thing through here, I guess, um, and just go like that and just have a smaller building around here. People can walk in here, but we're going to have to be building, uh, adding like big trees so that people don't uh, go over that. Uh, and we can have smaller offices around here. Uh, I think that would be fine smaller offices through there that would be good uh, we're gonna also fill this part in here I think commercial so we're gonna have commercial commercial and then we go with office and office which means so it's commercial and office um, mixes and I'm, I'm kind of happy with that uh, in here, I'm gonna still leave it kind of empty because I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen in this area But we're starting adding a little bit more businesses and work uh, working spaces around here, which is good um, as you can see It's not gonna go like massive jobs, but it will give a couple more jobs and as the businesses level up I think it's gonna be even better 
you know and people working in here they do have their own parking lots in these big businesses but there's this extra parking lot if they need to you know go there uh, we also have this area in here where, that we could definitely add businesses because we do have bus stops in here which is fine uh, but this one is right next to the bus station so it's it's even better uh, in in my humble opinion um, okay what should we do landscaping I'm gonna leave it for a couple of minutes uh, I don't want to do it right now but maybe that's what I should be doing because I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what is going to be the best approach for the bus lines and all of that I mean in here we have buses uh, it's here it's fine it's just that uh, here again here I am again going back to the tram line and I'm I'm like sure Sure, it's it's fine. I guess I guess it is fine, you know, it's there's 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 not enough people going into these tram lines. It's I would say it's more for tourists that would stop and want to be on the old town. So you know what? We need to bring in more people into our um, city. And I'm thinking we are going to increase the density around here. So let's pause the game again. And let's do this. And there we go. We have a small parking lot. It's costing 10. I mean, I think normally parking lots, I, I make them 15. Yeah. But these ones are 10. Um, I don't remember why. Um, so let's crank them up to 15. Um, and this one is also, I'm going to crank it crank it up to 15. It must be a mistake or must have been a mistake, whatever. So... We're building another parking lot in here and we're building two mixed buildings um, that hopefully, I mean, maybe we've just lost density in here because if they are, I mean, they're big. I think these ones are going to be big. So they, they should be able to uh, at least have more people. We'll see how many they get in here. Um, if that works out, I may be thinking about doing the same thing around here. So for each one of these blocks because in here this parking lot will also help these businesses in 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 somehow in some way um let's just see that we don't have that many each business has ha, have a parking lot okay but it seems like they're not completely full of it uh they, they should be free by the way when you go to a business and you stop in here i think that it should be free but um i don't know we just have these uh parking lot so people can park uh, you know you have these apartment blocks and all of that I think this will definitely make more sense um, because we are trying to use mixed uh, buildings um, in here you have bus stops which probably is going to crank up even more the bus stop but with the tram I don't know I think I think it could work and we're gonna do the same thing around here but let me just see how it happens with these building uh, but meanwhile let's look at the businesses that we have built in here so like I said this one has 13 jobs three jobs three jobs uh, seven jobs in here seven jobs in here how many six jobs six jobs three two you know it's not massive I can see it's not massive but it kind of works right it kind of works so this sells furniture this produces software this sells electronics so this is right next to to each other so this uh, company in here they can buy the the electronics right from this other shop and this one um, sells software for financial companies that can buy from here so it's very nearby so that that's not too bad um, these ones yeah, these ones are also not too bad because they're they're close in close by um, placing. This is convenience food, so this is a short market. Okay, this is a supermarket. That's cool. I like that. N right, right next into the bus station. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, and it's not far away from the from the elementary school, so it's not bad. Also, um, yeah, I, I kind of am liking the vibe around here on Sunny Crossing. Um, by the way, by the way, by the way, should we... Uh, let's look into this one. How many houses? 30 houses. Oh, that's good. That's good. And there's a recreation um, company. That's good. I like that. 
Um, I was thinking, um, should we do low rent? The problem with low rent has to do with the fact of, um, you know, let's see, it's the land value, right? Uh, where is land value? Is it here? Land value, yeah. Um, I know there's a problem with land value right now. Um, and I'm just thinking, should we build... Uh, no, none of these places is... Um, yeah, I don't think... We could build something in here for um, low rent buildings. Which is not too bad, honestly. Because the land value is becoming more expensive around here in these areas. Um, I'm, I'm, I, sh I'm, I know that there's going to be a patch coming up soon when I'm recording this. That's going to fix that land value issue. There's also a, um, a mod that could fix this. But I'm not sure. Today's episode is going to be long just for me thinking about what I'm going to do. Which is kind of stupid in one way, but... Kind of understand it in another way also <laughs> you know what I'm I'm thinking about something extremely crazy right now and I am thinking do we have a tram stop um, we need an office building how, how is unemployment by the way seven percent so it's not really something very relevant what happened here so I'm thinking let me see how it is what is this this is tram no it is I mean it is tram stop right no it's a bus stop okay tram stop we have trams around here we have a bus stop around here um, tram stops are only around here and then it ends here and goes back should we offices would make more sense uh, I don't know I want I want to do like a big building like a skyscraper building in here although this is not gonna be a downtown I wouldn't mind seeing like a big building around here right now but would it be good because it would be only office jobs and it would probably not be good um, and I was talking about land value and land value in here is very mm, not good <laughs> I, I don't mind here land value in here seems to be fine land value in here seems to be fine I guess it's not the lowest I mean the lowest ones are around here or around here there's a farm around here so that makes land value low around here in this industrial area land value is also low but I, I, I I'm not seeing myself building anything around here um, for housing um, unless it would be on this side but then again it wouldn't be good either yeah I'm not gonna be doing I mean I could be doing low renting though could I not couldn't I uh, I mean you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do something around here so we're gonna use law renting housing I'm gonna to try to place them around here so uh, I'm going to try to make a 4x4 building which is starting to be that's starting to be built I'm also gonna build a parking lot and it's gonna be a medium parking lot so if people are living here they do have access to a medium parking lot and I'm gonna go with a walking path through here just because you know we can and maybe another low rent building can be bought around here and maybe a couple of businesses maybe small businesses around here doesn't need to be big like a tree by tree I think it would be a fine and let's do another uh, let's just wait for this one to grow up and see what happens because this one is right next to this radio mast 
it may not be the best place for living so that's probably why the the the, the land value here is low and it, it can increase a little bit more the um the amount of people that want to be living here we still have like a lot of demand for jobs i think i think i'm gonna build this up so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fast forward this i'm gonna build uh this area in here maybe i'm gonna build this one in here and then i'm going to just um landscaping it so i'll see you guys in a in a bit Alright, and I'm back and probably before wrapping today's episode, um, just looking into how um, everything is filled in. I, I really like this place in here. Um, there's different uh, places where uh, the, the shops and uh, businesses and offices, they have different orientations and I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, and, but in the middle you have like this small kind of parking. Uh, where people can walk by and and and, uh, and and you know and kind of enjoy a little bit of uh, relaxation um, on this park, although it's not entirely um, you could say it's not entirely uh, a park or a working park. It's still a, a good place to walk and you know stretch your legs after um, your lunch break or whatever. Uh, I also did the same thing, uh, well, not the same thing, but we also placed in here a couple of buildings. We did a couple of connection pads in here and then a little bit of landscaping. Nothing too big or too uh, fancy, just a couple of trees and bushes around the walking paths and the street. Um, so it, it gives this, uh, eventually in the future when the trees started to grow big, uh, probably like these ones, it's gonna be looking really nice in here. Um, I think and uh, hopefully people will enjoy uh, walking around uh, this area and uh, you know enjoying their life here working and uh, you know <laughs> living in here that's kind of like the most important thing uh, in the city um, all right so is this enough for lowering the unemployment um, it was a bit not not big big values but uh, enough I guess uh, meanwhile, let's look into here where we have these low rent building. It's not bad. It doesn't, as you can see, low rent buildings they don't have parking lots. Uh, at least this one does not have one. Um, I'm not unhappy with it, to be honest. Um, 
we could build another law rent building around here because why not I guess we will do that uh, and it's going to be a 4 by 3 size so it should be hopefully uh, I think this one is gonna be very big also the view in here is not too bad uh, <laughs> but uh, you know it's I guess it's fine I guess it's fine um, we could then do a little bit of landscaping around here also um, or we could add uh, a park. I mean, they do have this park nearby. It's, you know what, fine. <laughs> like I said again, it's fine. Um, okay, so with that done, the biggest issue, once again, is public transportation. Uh, do we need public transportation in here? We do not have that many parking lots around here, but this is, these businesses, they can, do, do they have, I mean, these are small businesses. They can park right in front. Yeah, they can park right in front of the street. It's not forbidden to park in here. So they're fine. In here is the same thing. It's not forbidden to park in here. We're not going to forbid that. Although there's tram lines going by. And there could be a little bit more traffic. But it's not forbidden. And I'm not gonna, going to do so. Um, you know, I'm going to let it slide. So that we can see what kind of... If the business thrive and, um, you know... We get more money out of them. <laughs> That's kind of kind of it. Um, all right. There's oh, there's an issue in here. There's a lot of traffic jam. Um, I think it may be time for us to add in here some kind of traffic lights. I think so. Um, not sure if this is gonna help a lot, but let's add traffic lights so that our citizens can um, we have a bit a bit more flow happening um, you know hopefully <laughs> and we'll see what happens all right guys so uh, not much being done on the last couple of episodes we haven't grown up the city as much as we wanted uh, but you know what we're gonna do it right now I'm going to fill this and then we're gonna wrap the, today's episode. I think this, that's it. I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna fill this up. I'm not gonna do landscaping, but I'm gonna fill this up with uh, mostly medium. Uh, is this a is this a low rent? I think this is a low rent. I think this is low rent, isn't it? Uh, let's check the icon. No, no, it's not. This is uh, this is medium. So yeah, it it's medium apartments, right? It's medium. It has to be medium. Okay, so let's continue to build a couple of medium apartments. Uh, we're gonna fill a couple of this. Uh, I want to give uh, a big gap between them because probably between them we're gonna do something more. I mean, we, we we may be losing a little bit of space in here, but we also have to think that maybe in the future these medium apartments they can become uh, you know high density apartments like these skyscrapers maybe. So let's do a couple of them. Um, how big are these ones? So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, they're six by six. So um, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's do a six by six. And let's do the same thing in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not too bad, is it? In that, that regard. Uh, can we do the same thing in here? So three, six, three, six. Yeah, I kind of like that. And I'm gonna try to keep that kind of grid and then we can do walking paths around here and do something uh, more interesting. Three, six, okay. And maybe we're gonna do the same thing in here. So three, six, three, six, like that. And I guess it's like that, right? No. Ah, oh, this one in here seems to be smaller. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. This one in here, they're kind of like next to each other. That's kind of interesting. I thought they would be kind of like the same size, but they're not. Anyways, let me you know, building these apartments and these buildings, and uh, I'll be back to you guys.
right, and here we go. Um, I just placed a couple of medium apartments in here and also uh, one more low rent because this will bring a lot of people in and that's good. Um, but at the same time, uh, on each of these places I, I had like a lot of walking paths because we don't want to have too many of these low density or medium density buildings eventually they're gonna, they're gonna grow up to high density to be too close to each other um, they're already too close in my opinion but that's fine I mean we have even this one in here um, I have no idea why these, these are different but yeah let's keep it that way <laughs> I may have made like maybe a mistake on um, checking out the size of the of the building but either way in each one of these corners, there's like a com small commercial building. This is going to be good for these businesses. They're going to be filling up. I mean, here is like a, firm, uh, firm, uh, a chemicals um, company of business. They're going to be selling, you know, pills and medicine to these guys, hopefully. This one in here is beverages. Oh, yeah. That, a lot of people are going to buy beverages in here. Um, there's this other one, pharmaceuticals. Uh, so this one is different. This is chemicals. Okay, I <laughs> have no idea why a chemicals one here. But the pharmaceuticals, yes, it makes sense. And here, uh, vehicles. Okay, uh, this one does not make sense. So I may do a bit of guacamole in here, I guess. And just uh, destroy a couple of these business businesses so that it makes a bit more sense what kind of small businesses are opening in here? They're really small, like two by two uh, square feet. Uh, right now there's like a huge traffic jam in here because there's a lot of people coming in, moving into here, into this area. Uh, it's understandable. Uh, yeah, there's a traffic light in here. You know what? I think in here it make, makes all sense because right now there's a traffic light. It does not make sense to be um, something like that. I think we're gonna go with a large runabout. And this will help flow. This will help flow in here, and uh, it's fine for us, you know. Does when the traffic when the traffic flow was slow, it would be okay to have that traffic lights and all of that. Now it's not. Uh, also, there's parking lots in some of these uh, uh, areas. So, uh, and also people can park in the streets in here. This is more like a residential area. It doesn't really require people to be parking. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if they park in the streets. That's that's fine. There's still a lot of empty spaces that we can use, as you guys can see. We can use it for different kind of um, situations. Um, I'm thinking probably we could do uh, gardening or maybe opening a business or maybe having um, small playgrounds or some other outdoor recreation activities that you can have here. This is a really nice place to live, to be honest. I think this would be like a place where everyone wants to, to live in. Uh, public transportation in here is not good. Uh, I'm pretty much sure there's no public transportation through here other than taxis. Uh, that's something we need to fix. Um, but I think we're going to fix it on the next episode. It's already been a long time um, today. This episode is probably going to be longer than I thought. But it's. I think it's going to look good. Uh, a couple of bus stops around here probably on these main streets so we can also have people here on these low rent buildings you know grabbing their buses so it's cheaper for them and probably also you know in one this street in here or this street in here i don't know in one of these streets having people uh moving in and you know getting things hopefully done there's there's like a lot of uh, oh yeah, there's a traffic light in here. Yeah, well, that one I cannot change. It's still gonna be, but there's a better flow around here and I'm happy for that. Either way, guys, that's it for today's episode. I know it was not exciting. I'm, I guess that the last couple of episodes have not been very exciting. I've, I do play a little bit slowly. And um, for the mayor, for the new mayor, I think I'm getting back into what the previous one did and that's not good. So I'm not sure if if I am going to last long in this char in this uh, you know uh, position for that long. I have to start building up things that are really important. Uh, well, that I want them to be really important. And I guess that maybe on the next episode we're going to start looking into the airport. All right, and maybe we're going to look into the downtown. And we do have other things we can build. Subway. A water, you know, water buildings. Uh, I mean, maybe an arbor would not be too bad. We do have a connection to here. Maybe we could grab that connection, bringing to here. 
near to our, you know, industry area. So there's a lot of things that we can do, um, and there's a lot of things. I get, I guess, for the time being, there's not going to be much going on when it comes to high density or or, or whatever. Um, I I bet right now that unemployment ro rose, yeah, because there's more housing and not as not not. Not enough jobs, I guess. That's also true. Um, and we need to fix that. And we're going to need to fix that on the next episode. And I think I have already the right location to build, like, a, a really big building for jobs. Yeah, you know, people need jobs. Commercial. Or, I guess, commercial. I think high-density commercial is not as big as offices or housing. <laughs> Either way, we're going to leave that to, to the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. And I hope to see you guys on my next episode. Thank you for watching. Cheers. This has been a local public service announcement. This is Second Moon with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next election, I'd like to take a few memento moris to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. For our newer, less able listeners,